been a while. See, the mounts are broken right off. They're supposed to be up here, but it's broken and then it moves around. And then the whole front of the quad is just... See, everything just floppy here. The whole front of the quad is just kind of falling apart. Look at how easy this thing is to take off. Just like that. But the issue is this thing that holds kind of holds the fenders up. The mounts are broken underneath. So the right way to do this would be to take all this plastic off, but that's a big job. So I got I got it lined up in there. You see that the part that broke off. So my plan is to weld see this thing to this. That's what's supposed to be welded. So even though the sides are pulled out like that, as long as I weld weld it on there, then you can pound the sides back in, weld them up. So yeah, and then, and then we, once that side's on, then I can fiddle around with getting this side back up there. This bumper is good on here. That's a good bumper for this quad. And I welded all that together. I didn't make any videos on this, but I think I did pretty good with this. See. It's got a thick steel plate here and a thick steel plate here. It goes all the way down to there. And got like bolts and stuff, welded them on there. And then I welded that pipe in there. And then, uh, see this here is original tubing. And, you know, this is stuff I welded on there. I basically built the bumper up here, welded that plate on there. That was a good idea. And then I welded these things on there to make it look right. So that, so that there wasn't an awkward space in there. Because these stupid new headlights are weird angled. They're not square like the 90s quads. But this thing looks awfully good with those tires on it. It looks like a Jeep. Looks amazing. Looks like a Jeep. So now let's fix it. Whenever you're welding machines, you always want to make sure you know where you're putting the ground. So the ground is on this thing, and we're welding that to the frame. So you wouldn't want to put the ground on this suspension because what happens with welding is high voltage, so an arc will go across somewhere and it'll tack weld. So if you welded the in, like a shaft on the inside of the bearing and you put your ground on something that was on the outside of the bearing, an arc would shoot across that be bearing and it would make a tack weld. And sometimes that tack weld can cause a lot of damage. So that see right here, I'm just welding to the frame, you know, from this frame. So it looks like we're all good.
squad needs a new seat. No one has gotten around to buying one yet. It's kind of weird you have to take all that stuff off just to get it to front. There's one more of those little things. One of these right there. Fenders. Why the heck is the gas tank cap right here? It was all on all the other older quads, and even some other new ones. It's right here, and it, it looks so much better. The gas cap on the side is ugly. Weird design. Fenders have an odd amount of oxidation on them for being. No, I think this quad's a 2016. I think the other one's older, and you can see kind of nice and red right there, and then it's kind of oxidized here. And mine is a 98, and it has none of that because it's it was stored indoors. everything is back together that took a ridiculous amount of time because I hate working with this stupid plastic and it still doesn't fit right because that's how it is and there's nothing you can do about it but yeah on this side the bolt was stripped so I got another bolt through there and I welded that as much as I could uh, you know it's enough to hold everything down it's nice and tight now the whole thing is shaking around and I think the when I put everything back together, everything got rearranged uh, better, and now it kind of fixed itself. And they put so I don't know what happened. I lost a bunch of footage, or the camera stopped recording. But everything is fixed on this quad, and you know that I welded up as much as I could, and the places I welded the mounts, you know, were kind of warped a bit. I tried to bend them back, but I couldn't really, so um, it didn't work too well. But I just welded everything up, and it. It should be fine. I don't think that'll break again. Even if it does, the thing to do is just to make a new mount out of an old nut or something. So I guess that's it for this video. I, I don't know why the camera stopped recording, but it did.